I'd like to share with you today one of the tools that I use with the CEOs that's probably the most powerful tool that I use. And it's called the Energize Drain List. Very simple thing to do. Take a sheet of paper, draw a line straight down the middle, and on one side of that, at the top, you add the column header called Energize, and on the other side, you add the column header Drain. And then you spend the next week completing this list. You write things on the list that either energize you or drain you. Maybe that's certain meetings that you might have. Maybe it's the board meeting. Maybe that energizes you. Maybe that drains you. Maybe it's certain individuals within the board. Maybe the chairman spending time with the chairperson really energizes you. Maybe it really drains you. Maybe it's certain members of your senior leadership team, like maybe one on one with your COO is absolutely energizing. Maybe with your CFO, it's draining. But starting to put together a list of the people, the meetings, the situations that both energize and drain. And then you can start to look at the day to day stuff that you have to do. Maybe you are drawn to some of the financial numbers. You enjoy digging into the detail of the numbers or to dashboards or to data or something like that. You really enjoy that. Maybe that energizes you. Maybe that drains you. Everybody's different, but you put it on the list. You go through other situations outside of work as well. Maybe there's friends that both energize you and drain you. Maybe there's elements of family life that both energize and drain you. Maybe there's um, things in your life that do. Maybe it's you know, driving or taking the train or living where you live. There's all the elements of your life should be listed as either energizing or draining. Now, once you have this list, what you've got here is the secret to unlocking really two things. Number one, and most obviously, is the things that are going to make you happy, the things that energize you, right? They're the things that make you happy. Do more of those. The things that drain you should be the things that you try and eliminate as much as possible from your life. Okay? You can start to make conscious choices to do the things that energize you and conscious choices to stop doing the things that drain you. If you're a CEO or a leader generally, you can delegate the stuff that drains you. Of course, that's the first thing you should do if you're a first time CEO or a founder is look at that drain list and just get those things off your plate. Because that energy that you've got is finite. You've only got a certain amount of energy to get through your day, your week, your month. And if you're using all of that up on things that drain you, you're going to be exhausted. You're going to be tired at the end of the day. You're going to feel closer to burnout. You're going to feel much more stressed. But the inverse is also true. If you're spending more time doing the energizing things, then you're going to feel more, feel more like getting up on a Monday morning and going to work. You're going to feel excited about doing the things you're going to do. You're going to bring energy from outside of that, um, outside of your life into your work life. If you're energized about the things that you're going to do. Things start to feel much more effortless if you're doing the things that energize you. And here's the crazy thing about being a successful leader. The successful leaders do only the things that energize them. They know that the stuff that drains them is a drag and it's going to affect their performance. So they just don't do them anymore. So I talk a lot about the concept of effortless success. And effortless success starts here by eliminating the things that drain you and doing the things that energize you. So I would love you to start your own list. Right. Add some comments down there below about some of the things that do energize you, some of the things that do drain you. Send me your list. I'd love to see it and I'd love to hear your comments about what you're working on. This is all about an taking an, an intentional step to do the things that make you happy and an intentional step to do the things that don't make you happy. I know that sounds really obvious, but it's really the secret to success. Everybody from the CEO right down to the rest of you who are watching this video as well. So let me know how you get on. I'd love to hear more from you on this. Now, if you'd like to go deeper with me, there's a video here that's pretty good. I'll, if you're a leader, you should look at the one about laying the tracks versus running the trains because it's a good complement to this one. But there's a number of other ways you can work with me. So I work with only six CEOs every year. I have an upcoming slot later this year. If you'd like that to be you, I have a number of questions that I'd like you to answer. They're down there. Um, I have some playlists pre-prepared for enterprise CEOs, first-time CEOs, and founder CEOs. I've got a series of audio clips, which are down here as well. Um, these audio clips are small snippets, rather like this one, for improving and up-leveling your leadership skills. Again, thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.